So I want to talk about something that I haven't really shared with a lot of people, but I want to start talking more about it because this was such an important moment in my life that I will never forget. And that was when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So this was around 2021, 2022. Things kind of start to blend together after 2020, but it was around that time frame. And I grew up Christian, but I grew up in a denomination that did not teach about the spiritual gifts, that did not teach about speaking in tongues. So that being said, I never heard anyone speaking in tongues. I, I, you know, briefly heard about it saying, oh, it's not for today. You know, those crazy Pentecostals in that church over there, you know, they speak in tongues every Sunday morning. That was the extent of my knowledge about speaking in tongues and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I was in my apartment um, one afternoon and I was on Instagram and I had come across on my feed because I was following a lot of Christian content and I was hearing a lot of people talk about speaking in tongues and receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I didn't really understand what it was because again, I did not grow up hearing about it and I just didn't have like a very deep or good understanding about what exactly is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But I heard about people speaking in tongues and again, I had never really heard it. I heard it, you know, maybe a couple seconds here and there on some Instagram videos. That was the extent of my knowledge of tongues. But I was sitting there in my apartment and I just remember God, he was so gentle and he was like, why don't you try that? And I was like, oh, I don't know, because I'm in my religious mindset a little bit. Like, I don't, this kind of sounds a little weird. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. And I sat there for, you know, a while, probably about an hour or so and contemplated it. And I just remember God, he was pushing me to try, but it was so gentle. It was like, not like do this, but it was more, hey, like, why don't you give it a try? Why don't you try that? And so I finally did. I remember I just, after sitting there for so long, thinking about it, like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I opened up my mouth and immediately I just started speaking in tongues, which the Bible calls an unknown language. And it truly did sound like an unknown language. But I just remember, I just released. I had to get out of that religious mindset, which took me a little time, but I opened up my mouth and I really just let Jesus take control of my tongue, take control of my spirit, let him do what he wanted to. And I remember it was such an incredible, something I had never experienced before, but the Bible talks about when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that's when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. I, I didn't know that at the time, but that's really what it felt like. I really felt like the Holy Spirit literally came and like rested upon me. And it was like, you know, I was just experiencing God's majesty, his glory, like the weight of his presence and who he was. I have never in my life had a feeling like that. I've had massages, I've gone on vacation and I'm like, this is the most peace and the most joy I have ever felt in my entire life. So that was when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, started speaking in tongues. Um, I've been praying in tongues ever since. My goal is to try and pray at least 10 minutes a day in tongues, longer if I can, but I have a goal for at least 10 minutes a day. And truly, you know, speaking in tongues and receiving that gift from God, it has completely changed my relationship with God. It's allowed me to go deeper with God, understand who he is. And so that is my story. I want you to comment below and let me know if you speak in tongues and if you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit.